Hello and welcome to UK Handmade. Today I'll be interviewing the lovely Rachel Taylor about her upcoming show at Top Draw, her surface pattern e-course with Beth Nichols, and also her brilliant new magazine, and not to mention her fantastic products that she has available. Hello Rachel, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Hi Fiona. So for the listeners, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do and your business? I work as a surface pattern designer and I'm based in the UK and I'm based up in the north of England. I'm known for sort of bright colours, kind of quirky fun prints. I have my own product line here in the UK which is mainly sort of kitchen textiles and sort of smaller items and accessories. But I do do a lot of licensing and I'm quite lucky that a lot of that is international, um, particularly over in America. I've got things like sort of home decor through to sort of iPad and iPhone, stationery, that sort of thing. I just create lots of sort of patterns um, are fun and I have kind of a catchphrase of my work and um, patterns to make you happy. I'm just really lucky that you know my work gets picked up and it's been applied to sort of many, many products really in the marketplace. When did you first start designing? I've always been really creative from a really young age. When I was really young, I didn't kind of plan to be a surface pattern designer. I just knew art and design was something that I wanted to do. Um, if I'm honest, it's the only thing I'm good at, really. So from a very young age, I'm sort of very active and um, involved in art and design. Um, I really like theatre as well. And then I went on to do, you know, the usual route of kind of an art GCSE, art A level. And then I went on to do a foundation course. And it was on that course that I kind of realised I had a a bit of a flair for sort of screen printing and textiles and that's when I kind of got involved in that in that side of it and then straight from my foundation I knew I wanted to do a creative course and um, I wasn't sure which one if I'm honest in the beginning I was looking at things like graphics illustration textiles I went to the University of Leeds and at the time it wasn't just a surface pattern design course it was textiles and fashion so in a way we got you know the best of both worlds and um, We were taught how to do pattern cutting, sewing, screen printing. Obviously, it was very predominantly sort of about drawing and things as well. But I was kind of more of a hands-on based designer. Really was specialised in screen printing and machine embroidery. And then from university, kind of got placements, went on to get full-time work. And that's kind of led me to where I am today, really. You are exhibiting at Top Draw. What can we expect to see there? I've got a stand at Top Draw, I'm stand number A116 and I'm located in the home section of the show and basically I'm showing my whole print product line as well as a brand new line of kitchen textiles. This is my new digital printed range. I've also got things like my wallpapers at the show which are all brand new as well. We're having a bit of a charity event going on at the stand as well. We've got a designer charity doodle wall and what this is is um, I really wanted to, you know, let the sort of the public and, you know, the general trade kind of feel a connection to my work and, you know, see how I create it and I kind of do it called, you know, I'm a bit of a doodle girl basically. A lot of my work is quite doodly and quite sort of freehand and spontaneous. So I initially planned to draw live at the show myself. Um but we thought it would be a really good idea to get other designers involved and if there was any way we could kind of raise some money for charity at the same time that would be really great so what's happened is myself and quite a few really well-known talented designers are coming to join me they're going to draw with me on the stands and um, wallpaper.com have kindly sponsored the event and then what will happen is um, after the show i will take all of these drawings from various designers obviously manipulate them to make them work together and produce a wallpaper collection and all proceeds of the profit of the sale will go directly to Cancer Research UK. So it's just going to be a really great fun event and people will get to see designers, you know, working, relax and hopefully we can raise some money for charity as well. That's really good because I've never seen anything like that happen at Top Draw. That's a really unique idea. I I love it. That's fantastic. Well done to you. Thank you. So you've just launched some new products. What inspires you when you're designing? For me, music has always really been a big inspiration for me. Um, When I'm not working for a client, which I don't really do as much of that nowadays, I'm working directly for myself or my own collections or my licensing. Sometimes if I'm listening to slow music, that kind of dictates how I draw that day. If I'm in a really sort of upbeat mood, my stuff's a little bit more energetic. I really do try and design that way as much as I can, just because I feel like it's, you know, that little bit more original, it's come out of my head, the motifs at the moment particularly are coming out, uh, they're quite abstract and kind of have an organic feel, but, you know, they feel um, very spontaneous. 
have always been inspired by kind of nature and florals and do still you know look to nature to draw from and that's kind of really prominent in my earlier work but more lately I definitely prefer to just kind of draw with how I feel and it kind of seems to work a little bit better that way I think as well. You run an e-course, a surface pattern e-course with the founder of Do What You Love, Beth Nichols, which has had an enormous success rate. What began this journey with you both together? Has it made a difference in how you think about surface pattern design and also have the students inspired you in some way as well? Yeah, I mean, definitely the, the students and the whole course has just been fantastic. I'd say um, initially I met Beth prior to a lovely retreat that she held last year in May 2011. And I actually gave a talk there about service pattern and kind of getting into the industry. I do that sort of thing quite a lot at universities. And then myself and Beth decided to kind of collaborate and work together. Beth is a very you know, a talented businesswoman and obviously there was a gap in the market at the time for this sort of type of course. I mean, surface pattern is so popular at the minute. The sites, the blogs like print and pattern, the amount of books coming out, it really is, a, you know, a big area to tap into. So obviously I really enjoy teaching and I work with Beth and um, she's very, you know, business forward as well. So we, you know, put our heads together and launched the course, which is called the Art and Business Surface Pattern Design. Because there's so much to learn, you know, from drawing right through to, you know, how to build collections how to be confident with colour, through to if you want to launch on your own, you know, the business side of things, how to build a brand, what's good, you know, what's good PR to do, that sort of thing, you know, copyright advice, all these sort of things we cover. We split the course into three modules and we're just so lucky that the course, you know, has done really well. I think because it is the only course out there at the moment, it really has attracted this wide audience and, you know, we're, we're really shocked that we attracted people from all around the world I think the last intake of course we had something like people from like 30 countries that's amazing so it's it's really it's really mad it's, it's really so good and because we have this um, online community where all the students can interact with people from say California connecting with people you know I don't know Peru places like that and all talking to each other and people have been meeting up at shows and this whole kind of new community is coming through and what we found on the course is because obviously I give a lot of my knowledge away and I'm very open and quite sharing on the course a lot of the students are just being exactly the same you know they're sharing tips they're putting notices up when competitions come on you know they're all helping each other with with the work you know and giving feedback so it just really is wonderful and some of the students work is just oh amazing and you know I go on every day and I'm blown away by the talent that we've had coming through and um, some of them have gone straight into getting licensed and deals you know being published in books in module three of the course we do invite people in industry to write like briefs obviously we don't promise that any of the students will get signed we can't do that very fortunate that a lot of them have got signed so we really do try and make a lot of opportunities happen as well where, you know where we can because we you know we do want everybody to do really well so we're just so happy with the way the course is going and we're just so grateful people seem to really enjoy it as well yeah I think the good combination between you and Beth is good you know obviously you're a designer and, and know everything there is to know in, in kind of developing yourself from being a student to then starting your business to then having a success rate as a service pattern designer internationally. And also, Beth, as you say, she's very good at, at international business. And so the two together is kind of a formidable team, really. And I think that's been the secret to the success of the e-course as well and gone through with the students and carried on. And you've now, both of you, created a magazine. Tell us about that. Yeah, we like, we like working a lot. <laughs> We just noticed there wasn't like a, you know, a dedicated magazine that's more focused, you know, on, on surface pattern. And we also wanted a platform, you know, for the students to be able to showcase the work. So initially the magazine idea come from kind of a spin-off, you know, to complement the e-course. Um, but as time went on and we planned it, you know, we wanted it obviously to be a proper magazine. You know, we've got fantastic contributors, you know, we've got illustrators working on it, we've got fantastic layout artists working on the magazine. You know, there's things like art product features we've got you know travel features some of the um, students have done like say a postcard from Turin in Italy that sort of thing so it really does cover everything it's predominantly service pattern based with hints and tips and you know industry secrets that sort of thing but we're just really lucky and um, 
we launched it just last week in sort of three, four days. I think the latest stats is we've had something like 19,000 people read the magazine, which is amazing and a bit overwhelming. And we're just, you know, we're just so grateful that people are reading it and seem to, you know, genuinely enjoy it. We, we really didn't know how it was going to be received, but people seem really excited about it, so thank you. So what's, what's the magazine called? Okay, I'm, I'm really struggle sure pronouncing this. Do apologise. It's, it's pronounced Moye. It's a Japanese word, um, and it actually means pattern. M-O-Y-O. So a lot of people do say Moyo, but it's actually pronounced Moye. Who's the team? Myself and Beth are obviously the founders of the magazine, and they're sort of two key editors. Beth's kind of more involved with the content, where kind of the design and the art direction kind of comes um, to myself. So obviously just because of our workloads, you know, I'm I couldn't have designed every single page of the magazine. We've got a fantastic, calling it a dream team, because they are a fantastic team working with us. The main people involved are, we've got a wonderful project manager called Louise Gale. So she looks after kind of all the running of it. We hired US-based designer Jessica Swift to create some of the layouts, design some of the pages, and kind of work for my art, di- art direction as well. A designer called Nicola Rue, who's a LA layout artist, who's had experience working for L Decoration and Red Magazine. We've got another really talented illustrator called Libby McMullen, and she's designed kind of the beautiful, a lot of the beautiful typography and quotes, that sort of thing. And we've also got a new coming young talent on the magazine called Robin Taylor. I come across Robin when I actually taught at, at a university, and she's, I don't know if you saw the magazine, but she's the girl who created the wonderful biography illustrations. Oh, lovely. I actually commissioned her a while back to do mine, and I just loved mine, and I just thought it'd be a wonderful idea to get the whole team drawn in that style too. So she did that. Then we have Gemma Robinson, who's our art and creative writer. She's got a, her own blog called Creative Sketchbook, and she writes all our wonderful features. We've got Kelly Crossley, who's my assistant, who has worked on absolutely everything to do with the magazine. She's been very, very busy, kind of helping me with the design, the layout, putting the style get together. Then we have Diane Davis, and she's a trend specialist, and she writes our trends feature. And then, obviously, um, I mentioned Beth before, obviously the content and things like that, and Beth puts the design briefs together, and Beth's really wonderful at photography, so she features a lot of her own photography in the magazine too. And I think, I think that's everybody. I hope I haven't missed anybody out. But yeah, we've got a really, really wonderful team. Sounds amazing. And I, and I think as well, you know, there has been a gap in the market and you have filled it. And also as well, what's wonderful about this whole community is that it's international. It's international artists creating the magazine, for one mm-hmm. thing, but also as well, connecting to your e-course you've got international designers kind of coming together and helping one another and I think that's wonderful I think what you're both doing and what what you're doing as a team is incredible and I think we'll we'll set to make a difference in the design world I think thank you we're just, yeah we're just really grateful to have you know such a great team they've all worked so hard fingers crossed people keep reading it <laughs> so. uh, well I, I think they will I think because you're, you're going to be constantly updating with, like like you say, art reviews and news and things that are happening and tips and ideas. Well, I think you're such an inspiration, Rachel, and I think a lot of people will agree with me who's listening to this podcast. So thank you very much for, for being interviewed and taking the time out. And I wish you every success with the new magazine and the e-courses. And thank you so much. Thank you so much for doing it and thanks for listening. If you would like to know more about UK Handmade, go to ukhandmade.co.uk. Thank you for listening.